So growing up here in Oregon, there weren't a lot of folks that looked like me in the science field. So it wasn't until like junior year of high school that I had a really great chemistry teacher that just kind of saw the spark in me and said that I was pretty good at chemistry. And so from there, I went on to college and I decided I wanted to major in chemistry. And in my senior year, I did some research with one of my mentors and we were working with some polymers. And so that was kind of my first introduction to polymers. And that's when I decided that I wanted to look into grad school and look for a program that dealt with polymers. And then I was connected with a grad school at University of Oregon, and that's where I got my master's in chemistry with a focus in polymer science. And really polymers just kind of attracted me because they were, they're everywhere. And so I think it's super cool to like figure out how they're made and you know, what all these properties are. And I just kind of like that, <laughs> but they're everywhere. I work as a process R&D chemist. So what I do is I take like a recipe that's given to us from a client and then I develop the process and optimize it to make it cost effective and then I also help with a scale up and we help produce that and manufacture that for the client and whatever specifications they need. It's just like cooking it's a recipe and that's you know it's like a, a living recipe you gotta you gotta change it every once in a while depending on what what you want so it's it's always really exciting right because you want to make something and sometimes it doesn't come out but sometimes when it does you're really excited because it's you know theory matches what it actually happens so that's I, that's what I love about it it's very common for someone that looks like me to be an only not only because I'm a woman but because I'm a woman of color so Walking into a room, I think one of my, this is classic, like one of my physics class that I had to take as a chemistry major, I think I was one of two women in 30 person class. You know, it's daunting, I think, walking in and just being an only and trying to figure out who's gonna give you a seat at the table. And it's definitely challenging, but it has taught me many skills and how to fend for myself and how to speak up. It is difficult, but I think very worth it, especially seeing like my younger family members, you know, my younger cousins that are, that are women too, and they have someone to look up to and someone that looks like them that's in this field. And I know that my 12 year old cousin didn't know that that was a possibility, but saw that I became a scientist, a chemist, and now she wants to be a chemist. So that's pretty cool. When I was growing up, I didn't really see anybody that looked like me in a position that I'm in right now. And I just wanna show other younger girls or other uh, younger people of color that they, they can be successful in a career like this. And that, you know, sometimes it takes some reaching out to, to folks and saying, hey, I'm interested in this. Could you help point me or connect me to someone that can guide me? So I know I had a lot of help growing up too. I just had to know who to reach out to. Definitely, I would say, you know, don't give up. I mean, it's, it's all worth it. <laughs> you know, those long study nights, I had a lot of nights where in high school where I stayed up pretty late, especially junior and senior year, getting ready for college, making sure I was taking the right courses and getting the right grades. I think it's all worth it. You'll have many more nights in college the same, but you know, once you're in your career, your dream career, it feels great. I'll just tell you that it feels great just going into work and loving what you do and the people you work with and it'll work out the way um, 
you plan it to if you work hard. So, 